Hello, I'm Dr. Wallach, and I like to uh, talk about one of my favorite subjects today, are kids. And I have four kids and seven grandkids and my first great-grandkids, so I'm really excited about this. And, and uh, my work with kids and ADD and ADHD goes back before they called it ADD and ADHD, Attention Deficit Disorder and Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Back in the old days, we just called it hyperactivity. And there's all kinds of levels of this, uh, although they're very closely related diseases, ADD, ADHD, anxiety attacks, panic attacks, Tourette syndrome, there's um, violent behavior, there's uh, behaviors such as, um, uh, let's see, violent behavior and also anger, un unrelenting anger, and then there's things like depression, manic depression, bipolar disease. These are actually the same disease, uh, they're initiated by the same cause, which we'll get to in a minute. And the thing that makes them different is the upbringing of the child. If they've had a very deep and 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 uh, consistent family relationship, uh, they're different than a kid who's a latchkey kid. If you have somebody who has a deep uh, training in their religious beliefs, they're different than a child who has no religious beliefs. And so that that sort of a cultural and environmental training is going to have an effect on which of these diseases pop up when they have the same two problems. Uh, number one, the uh, main outside cause of ADD and ADHD and anxiety attacks, panic attacks, anger, rage, um, depression, manic depression, bipolar disease, these sorts of things is the amount of sugar we consume. Uh, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, over 100 years ago, Americans were eating something like a half a pound to one pound of sugar per person per year, a year. Well, today, 100 years later, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, we're eating 157 pounds of sugar per person per year, which turns out to be a half a pound of sugar per day. People say, well, come on, Wally, how do you eat a half a pound of sugar per day? Well, when you look at all of the soft drinks we consume, we're talking about Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, Mountain Dew, 7-Up, Sprite, uh, things like juices, apple juice, grape juice, orange juice, all of these various drinks, cranberry drinks, um, uh, every kind of fruit drink you can think of. And then we have Pop-Tarts, we have Pillsbury Toaster Strudels, Krispy Kreme Donuts, Dunkin' Donuts. We have every kind of cake and cookie and ice cream you can think of just loaded with sugar. There's sugar-cured sausage, bacon, ham, there's tons of sugar in bologna, salami, pastrami, pepperoni, and jerky. Instant oatmeal, a significant part of the weight of that stuff in the envelope is sugar. There's sugar in just about everything. There's sugar in hot dogs. Um, and so when you look at this, you have to appreciate that we're eating a half a pound of sugar a day. A soft drink can contain as much as 12 teaspoons of sugar for one 12 ounce soft drink. And a lot of these kids will consume three, four, five, six, eight, ten, twelve 10, 12 or more a day. And so sometime, if you want to have some fun, put 120 teaspoons, which is the equivalent of 12 soft drinks, on a, on a plate of 120 teaspoons of sugar and see what that looks like. It's, it's a mountain of sugar. Well, in addition to this mountain of sugar we're consuming, we have multiple mineral deficiencies. And these include, of course, lithium. Doctors want you to believe that lithium is a drug, a prescription drug, when lithium is really a, an essential trace mineral. There was a great study done by Dr. Gerhard Schrauser in Texas where he compared the level of violence in two different cities in um, Texas. And the only difference in the cities, it had the same demographics uh, of industry and business and farming, agriculture, uh, the age groups and so forth, same demographics of the cultural um, uh, makeup of the cities. The only difference was one town had a lot of lithium naturally found in their drinking water, the other town had almost none, and the one town that had lots of lithium in their drinking water was a nice, quiet, laid-back town. Nobody could bother anybody. They could leave their doors open and nobody would ransack or burglarize their homes. There's no violence, very little in the way of uh, major crime, whereas in the town that had no lithium in their drinking water, it was like the Old West. There was more crime uh, anger, rage, murders, armed robberies, uh, there is um, domestic violence, everything you can think of going on in the town that had no lithium in the drinking water. Well, when you throw in deficiencies of other nutrients such as 
um, magnesium, calcium, manganese, chromium, vanadium, and B vitamins and so forth, plus this great increase in sugar we eat, it's not surprising that we have all of these problems with our emotions and our learning, our ability to retain. And um, when you look at the news, uh, you find all kinds of terrible things happening. Number one, doctors try to manage, I guess is the best word to use it, doctors try to manage ADD and ADHD and anxiety attacks and panic attacks and anger and rage and depression and manic depression and bipolar disease with drugs. And they do a very bad job. Uh, number one, there's a suicidal tendency for people, regardless of age, who are uh, placed on um, drugs uh, such as um, uh, Ritalin and Prozac and Ritalin Prozac um, combinations and other um, drugs that, that will actually are uh, managing the behavior of an individual. And the younger they are, sometimes the worse the, the symptoms are uh, produced by these drugs, by the consumption of these drugs. They really don't fix the basic problem of the lithium, chromium, vanadium, magnesium, calcium deficiencies. They really don't fix the problem of the continued in intake, of the continued intake of all this sugar. And so what we have to do is, as parents and grandparents and great-grandparents, we have to take care of this ourselves. And so what I like to do with my kids and my grandkids and my great-grandkids is to make sure that they have plenty of vegetables available to them. They have plenty of uh, mixed salted nuts for snacks. They have sugar-free uh, shakes that we can make at home. It's kind of fun. They like to add things to the blender and we put it in the blender. So it's kind of a family project as well as sugar-free food and snacks and desserts. But also they have to supplement. And of course, all of my kids and all of my grandkids and the, even the great grandkid Everybody supplements to make sure we're getting all of these minerals because we're not going to get them in our food anymore. It's kind of a, it's not even a throw of the dice. You just know that they're not in there because we don't use wood as a fuel anymore. We do not use wood as a fuel. As a result, we don't have the byproduct, which was the wood ashes. And wood ashes are the minerals that are left over when you burn away the carbon in the wood. And wood ashes um, can contain as many as 60 to 70 or more different minerals including lithium, chromium, vanadium, calcium, magnesium, manganese, and others, all right? And when we put them in our gardens, back before the times of Moses, thousands of years before the times of Moses and Jesus, and all through the thousands of years uh, after that, guess what? Suddenly, September 4th, Monday, September 4th, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 1882, Thomas Edison and his chief electrical technician, a guy by the name of Jonathan Lieb, pulled the switch in the first commercial electric generating plant on Pearl Street, New York, overlooking the construction of the towers of the Brooklyn Bridge. And that changed everything because that was the beginning of the end of wood as a common fuel or the predominant fuel in homes uh, around the world. Now, once nations industrialized, once nations industrialized and began to use electricity, propane, natural gas, and even coal, kerosene uh, heating oils as fuels for heating and cooking, there were no longer any byproducts. There was no wood ashes left over to put in our gardens or food and our uh, salt to cut our salt with. As a result, we develop all these diseases. We have epidemics of violence in schools. Um, you have the Columbine mass murders of uh, many years ago. Uh, more recently, up in Minnesota, uh, there was a mass shooting in a school. Every one of these kids was on Prozac or Ritalin or Prozac-Ritalin uh, combinations. If you look around any major community around America, uh, there's these violent uh, outbreaks in the schools. Going postal is a, uh, a classic term for somebody who goes into a rage over something really insignificant. Oh, you accidentally bumped into me and somebody goes postal, goes home, gets a gun, comes back and shoots 30 people in the office. And that's because in post offices, if you stand outside and watch post offices, everybody comes in in the morning with a box of donuts and three big mugs of coffee with sugar in it. And do they supplement? No, they, they don't supplement. They don't put wood ash in their gardens. And so going postal, road rage, uh, office rage, uh, family violence, domestic violence, all of this is, is directly related to our increased consumption of sugar and 
the lack of minerals in our diets. I've asked policemen in Atlanta, Georgia, I actually gave a talk to them on domestic violence and ADD and ADHD and violent teenagers, and uh, asked them, when you go into a domestic violence situation in a home, do you find alcohol on the table or soft drinks? He said, well, when you think about it, mostly there's soft drinks on the table. And that's because the sugar will set people off into anger and rage uh, if they're not heavily supplemented with minerals. And we could eliminate a significant amount of violent crime just by cutting way back on the sugar intake and by supplementing properly with the minerals that are involved with controlling behavior. And of course, the lead dog in this um, minerals uh, list that, that controls behavior is lithium. It is not a drug, it's not a prescription drug. It's, it's a trace mineral that we all need. It's an essential trace mineral. I always remember the definition of, of an essential nutrient. If you don't have it, you get some disease. Well, ADD, ADHD, violence, anxiety attacks, rage, uh, these behaviors are diseases. And they're caused by a combination of a deficiency of minerals and a intake, intake, a super intake of sugar. And these things, both of them are easily controlled. Now, a lot of people say, I'm in a hurry and I can't feed my kid right. And he, he's got to get along, he or she's got to get along on um, dry cereal and milk and juices in the morning because I don't have time to fix eggs. Well, when I learned about this, I was a uh, widower with uh, four kids. I was in school full time and working full time and I had my hands full. And so I had to learn on the weekends to cook food for the entire week. And uh, we essentially cut sugar entirely out of our language. Uh, we didn't even say the word sugar. Uh, everybody in the whole family eliminated sugar and we drank water, and we drank shakes, protein shakes that had zero sugar in them. We ate nuts uh, and even popcorn with butter, real butter on it, not, not the artificial stuff, uh, as snacks. And uh, maybe one piece of fruit a day, like a banana or an apple. And um, that was how we managed things. And so all the meals were cooked on the weekend, put in the freezer and, da and dated. So each day we could pull stuff out and uh, we would uh, either microwave it or we would put it in the oven for five minutes, uh, thaw it out and warm it up. And I could um, uh, make eggs, poach them, soft boil them, hard boil them, and I could make um, hamburger patties. Uh, we would do all kinds of things to get the sugar out of our life. There's uh, nothing greater than a breakfast of two poached eggs, a hamburger patty cooked medium rare, and a big sliced tomato. And then, of course, you take all your supplements to ensure you're going to be getting that lithium, chromium, vanadium, magnesium, manganese, calcium, and all the other minerals. You want to take in all 90 essential nutrients. And if you do that, stay away from the sugar, the odds of getting ADD, ADHD, anger, rage, panic attacks, Tourette's syndrome, uh, depression, manic depression, bipolar disease goes to zero. And it's dramatic. You can see a change within 72 hours by just getting the sugar out of their life. Uh, but it, it, it takes some effort. And the reason I told you my personal story was that I wanted you to appreciate that even a guy who's very, very busy can do it. And so when people say, well, I'm so busy, I gotta have a pill uh, that the kid can take and eat the standard American diet because I don't have time to do something different. Well, that's not true because I've been through it and I know how to do it. And if I can do it, believe me, anybody can do it. It's just a sample uh, of what can be done. It, it's very simple, you have to organize. And once you have a system, we could eliminate ADD and ADHD, anger, rage, anxiety attacks, panic attacks, Tourette syndrome, um, depression, manic depression, bipolar disease. We can eliminate these behaviors uh, within weeks. Uh, we, in America, we should be totally free of these diseases because they're not genetic. They're not caused by uh, anything else other than a mineral deficiency and intake of sugar. One thing you can control quickly is to eliminate the sugar. And again, it's just a matter of um, looking at recipes. And uh, we've done this, you know, my wife and I have done this, and we've put in some of our books the recipes that we like for breakfast and lunch and dinners and desserts and soups and salads and snacks and so forth. Because people say, well, if you eliminate everything you say, Doc, we're not gonna have anything to eat because we only live on soft drinks and pancakes and for breakfast. And I actually saw 
I was at a um, basketball draft uh, not too long ago. They're drafting players. We were in the cafeteria with these kids early in the morning, like 6 o'clock in the morning. They are getting ready to go uh, do their free shots and all this kind of thing to see how good they were, and the teams were drafting them. And these kids are drinking um, carbonated, um, caffeine-containing cola drinks for breakfast. That was their breakfast. These are top athletes. And it's no wonder they jump in the stands and pound on fans and so forth. All that behavior is eliminatable. Uh, it has nothing to do with sports. It has nothing to do with genetics. It has nothing to do with uh, watching violence on TV. Nothing. It has everything to do with the sugar intake and the deficiency of lithium, chromium, vanadium, calcium, magnesium, manganese, B vitamins, and so forth. And to be able to say that we can eliminate these things in just weeks just by changing the diet and supplementing is a major, major difference in how we approach these diseases. And of course, I've been dealing with them, I'd say since the uh, mid 60s, been dealing with them since the mid 60s, so I'm very familiar with them and how a changed diet works. And certainly, uh, I like people to either call me, email me, write me, and tell me what's going on with your family when you get them on a sugar-free diet and you supplement them with all the known essential nutrients, and you supplement them with all the known essential nutrients, you'll find that, that everybody in the family is just all warm and fuzzy and they love each other. And the screaming and yelling and slamming doors goes away. Their grades go up. I mean, dramatically, within a couple of weeks, the teacher will call up and say, hey, what new, new drug do you have your kid on? I've never seen a kid with ADD and ADHD have such a personality change. I mean, it's like overnight. What, what's the name of the drug so I can get all the other kids on it? And basically, what uh, we do is we just get them off of sugar and supplement them properly. We could actually reduce the number of people in jail. In America, we have more people in jail. I think we have over 2 million people in jail than any other country in the world. We have more people in jail than China has. We have more people in jail than uh, any European country. We have more people in jail than they do in the Middle East. And that's because of the sugar intake and the lack of supplementation. And doctors will tell people, again, incorrectly, that if you just eat well, you're going to get everything that you need um, by just eating well. Well, that's not true because plants do not need all 60 minerals like we do. Uh, we need 60 minerals to be healthy. Plants only need nine, and uh, they can actually get along pretty good on three elements, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. And as a result, when a farmer who gets paid by tons and bushels wants to uh, maximize his income, he's going to only put in his fields NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, because a fertilizer with that limited amount of nutrition for those plants will not give them happy plants, but what it does is it gives them the maximum yields in terms of tons and bushels per acre. And so you have to appreciate just because a carrot looks good, just because broccoli looks beautiful, just because an apple looks pretty good, doesn't mean that it has everything in there we need. That's why in the animal industry, we have gone out of our way to create these little pellets that have everything in there known to be necessary for the healthy lives, behavior, and the um, longevity of these animals. In these pellets, we have everything they need from the vitamins, the minerals, the trace minerals, amino acids and fatty acids, and the antioxidants. And um, human beings are left to our own devices. Well, we need to do the same thing for ourselves that we learn to do for the animals. And the best way to deal with that is to supplement properly and avoid the sugar. And you can have a pretty good life without sugar. Uh, I think we should start a society of sugar-free people and uh, have colonies of sugar-free people because it's going to be a violence-free society when you're free of sugar. Um, there's all kinds of ways to make foods taste good without the use of real sugar. And um, uh, many of these are, are very, very uh, natural. They're actually extracted from plants. There's herbs and there's extracts of... of foods that we use that actually taste very sweet, but they have no calories in them. You do not absorb them. And this is kind of the direction we need to go. Um, when we have that type of sweetener in our foods, we supplement properly, we can in fact eliminate ADD, ADHD, Tourette's syndrome, 
We can eliminate anger and rage and anxiety attacks and panic attacks. We can eliminate depression, manic depression, bipolar disease. Yes, and we can eliminate the need for those drugs, Ritalin, and we can eliminate the need for the drugs Prozac. Now, a lot of schools demand that um, kids be on these drugs. Teachers uh, are frustrated because their classes are constantly disrupted by these kids, and so they'll ask uh, the school to insist that these kids are put on these drugs. And uh, they say, well, they won't let them back in school if I don't put them on the drugs. Well, I used to deal with this uh, all the time. I'd see hundreds and hundreds of these kids every year uh, when I practiced and up in Portland, Oregon. And I'm telling you that if you get these kids off of sugar, within 72 hours, that alone makes a difference. And then you supplement them with minerals. Within a week, they're just totally, totally different. They're able to learn and retain. They're hungry for knowledge. Their grades go up. They're very proud that their grades go up. And um, uh, is simply changing their diet and supplementing properly. You don't need all those drugs. And remember, these drugs have a terrible list of side effects, including suicide, mass murders. Why would anybody want to risk the health of their child, their grandchild, or their great-grandchildren, and hopefully great-great-grandchildren? Uh, why would anybody want to risk them um, killing themselves because you want to control them with a drug when you can do it by eliminating the sugar out of their life and supplementing them properly. And if you're, if you're any kind of really, really devoted parent or grandparent, you have to try it the conservative way before you even consider the drugs. You'll be happy. Let me tell you, they'll be happy because kids like to do well. They like to have friends. They do not like to be punished. And um, we can actually save America by getting rid of the sugar out of our